Hey guys, so I am not a gambling man, but around two months ago I decided to change that and I bought some parts for the Evo off eBay from a Chinese seller and those parts have finally arrived. So let's take a look and hopefully get them on the car. Okay, so here is our box from China. Things moving around in it. It's a bit beaten up, but it was very well wrapped in bubble wrap. So I'm not that concerned about the contents. All it says on it is M carbon. Any guesses as to what is in this box? Drum roll. Let's have a look, see if you are right, shall we? Wow, I am actually speechless i am very surprised i think they need a bit of a kind of polish and a buff up but um yeah actually very very impressed with this with the construction it feels like in the weight and if you can't guess what these are these are replica craft square mirrors from china i am impressed i'm assuming in here aluminium these are gonna get painted anyway uh, aluminium base plates all look good and you've got that's for that side, so that's for the this side of the car. That goes in there. Yeah, it fits and everything. And uh, <laughs> we've even got Craft Square stickers to complete the illusion. Um, I am very impressed. 20 minutes later. So I've had a sit down, had a cup of tea with lots of sugar to calm my nerves after my gamble, which seems to have paid off. I I am genuinely speechless at the quality of these uh, so far. I, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, why did I buy fake craft square mirrors? I'm going to say that these are genuine because I've got the stickers. So uh, yeah, these are proper craft square mirrors. I'm just lying to you that I bought them from China. I'm really impressed that they came with stickers. That is so cheeky. Oh uh, yeah. Awesome, nice touch. Um, I will put up in the video the seller that I got them from, from anyone else who wants to buy the same. Um, but why did I buy fakes? Two things really. Um, first one is it takes ages to get new cross square mirrors. It can take up to six months to get them from Japan because they kind of custom order items. And a second reason is if you don't buy new, which are about 550 quid or thereabouts, which is a lot of money. And I've bought them several times now over the years. You've got to buy them second hand and getting the right spec. I'll put up in the video the spec that I've got here is very difficult. Now I found a few for sale in Japan. I found a few used for sale on eBay in Thailand, strangely enough. And for used mirrors, they were asking 800 quid, which is just insane. Like the world has gone insane. Um, so that was the catalyst that made me think, you know what? I'll have a look what the Chinese sellers are offering because loads of them were offering these mirrors and some of them look very questionable, uh, but some look legit uh, and look decent quality. So I thought, you know, 110 quid, what have you got to lose? Give them a try. If they're great, brilliant. If they're not, then at least you've had a go. And maybe you'll get some used craft squares at some point in the future that aren't ridiculously overly priced. So yeah, I, I took a punt uh, on getting these and I think to me, the reason why, one of the reasons why um, I decided that I was okay with going fake carbon mirrors uh, from Craft Square was because they're a pretty simple construction. There's not a lot to them. It's a very simple housing. It's a simple mirror glass. It's a simple base and it's a simple mechanism that holds the mirror and the adjuster to the base. So I thought you can't really screw that up. So hopefully what I bought here and it looks to be the case um, is pretty much identical to what you get from Craft Square themselves, but at a fraction of the price. So now I've said all that, I We've got all that out of the way. We need to get the Rallytech mirrors off the Evo. You can see them here. Uh, they're only held in with two screws. Uh, and then we can kind of just do a test fit of the craft squares. And then I'll show you my plans for fitting them. And uh, we can hopefully get on with it. But yeah, three little bolts to move. The Rallytech mirrors can't argue with them. Like visibility is decent. They're incredibly light. They're a perfect fit and they're great quality. Cannot fault Rallytech at all. I just wanted craft squares or schmath squares or math squares, whatever we're going to call these mirrors because they're not genuine uh, or maybe they are, who knows. Yeah, let's get these mirrors off and let's have a look at one of these craft squares, shall we? OK, 
Okay, so here we are, I made one up. I think I'm already gonna to have to make a little bit of adjustment here because that is not sitting flush. Um, we will work that out in some way. But I made a template here, I made this a while ago for carbon base plates for the car. So the plan is, we shut the door. Plan is that these are gonna sit something like that on there, like that. I think that looks pretty smart. A few moments later. They're on the car. It took all of like three seconds. I didn't even have time to do a video. So this is the original rubber housing here. And two, the two, the top and bottom bolt holes, these are M5 bolts here. They fit stock Evo holes for the mirrors. So it's just meant to be clearly. Um, need to drill out one hole here, potentially, depending on what solution I come up with. Um, but yeah. That is it, really. That is kind of good enough to be able to test them. And I've tested them and visibility is great. And adjustability is great. And you can see here, fit into the holes. And I don't have working windows on my car because I'm an idiot. But if you had working windows mounted in this position, you have perfect visibility. And also you can adjust the mirrors here. This is the kind of craft square style kind of tightener for the mirrors. Um, to get them where you want them and then hold them into place. So I will go off now and be back in a SpongeBob with hopefully the solution to how we're going to fit them up onto the car properly and then we can kind of take it from there. Several days later. Okay, so I think I've got it sus now. So my original idea seems to be the best idea, which is to make carbon plates up that just bolt to the kind of door frame of the car, no rubber in the way, and the mirror base plates go onto that carbon, go through that carbon, and then that goes through the door frame and is kind of secured that way. So it's all one piece essentially pulled together. So got them here, one for each side already done. Uh, hopefully you can see the black outline here. That's where the base of the mirror will sit. Um, and it's perfectly lined up here with the rubber at the bottom of the window and it lines up perfectly there. So this is all good and it works and it fits. Got to use some spaces on the back. So when you pull it tight with the bolts, I've had to order some more bolts. They've not arrived yet and they may take a while. So can't quite finish this job properly, but I can finish the job enough for the video. So. All that is sussed and worked out. And I have sprayed up the mirror bases in gloss black, front and back. Um, so that is all good. They're still drying, so I can't do anything until another SpongeBob has passed. And then we can get everything assembled, hopefully, and get them on the car. But had an accident, just before I show you what the base plate will look like, had an accident, dropped one of the mirrors. So I've asked them if I can buy one mirror. If I can't, I'll have to buy another set. But Oh well, shit happens. Uh, I was cleaning the mirrors, polishing the mirrors, and they're so slippery and so light. You can see here, uh, dropped it on the floor and made a right mess of it. So what can you do? Getting old. Right, let's have a look and see what this looks like on the car, just to give you an idea. And then, like I say, we'll come back after a SpongeBob and hopefully get stuff fitted up. Okay, so this is the plan. You'll see, if we drop this on, that that fits perfectly in place there, all nice and neat and tidy. Uh, jobs are good in, as I say. Um, I've had to, if I can move this without dropping it on the floor, I've had to drill three holes. So if you mount the mirrors using the stock holes, which is this hole here, and this hole here, then you'll need to drill one more hole here that's around here uh, to fit the mirrors that way. But doing that, the mirrors don't line up with the black rubber and they're at a bit of an angle. So I've drilled three new holes, this one here, this one here, and this one here, uh, to allow me to sort of fit the mirrors how I want them. And uh, that's it really in terms of modification. Not that difficult, not that intrusive. And obviously you can still use your standard mirrors uh, if you want to put them back on. And you can still use the plastic trim on the inside that hides the kind of bare metal and mirror gubbins. Uh, so all good. Anyway, let us uh, come back in a second and start building the things up and getting them on the car. Eventually. Okay, so paint is now dry and I've given everything a polish with the Purest light polish and given everything a ceramic coat. 
and I've managed to now hopefully order a new one of these. Um, but I'll fit it up for now for this video. But yeah, this is all dry, all looking good. Um, and what I've done is I've put some six mil, I think it is, foam edging around the top and the back side just to neaten it off and just to stop water getting in there into the kind of door frame when I wash the car and things. And then yeah, we've got our spacers here. I've only got four bolts and I've got six holes. So I'm just gonna fit two bolts to each door. I could get away with one to be honest, but I'm gonna fit two bolts to each door for now because um, I still need to get the final adjustment done on the mirrors and I still need to get the final bolts in. So this is just for the video, just to get it done and dusted. But uh, yeah, let's start building these up, shall we? Start with the passenger side, getting them on the car. So there we go, ignore the missing bolt for now, but hopefully you can see, I won't do a artsy music video at the end, I'll just walk around now and talk while I show you. Um, I think they've turned out pretty well and I think the fit is decent and obviously the visibility is great. I need to get the bolts sorted and I also need to get the mirrors adjusted. But I need my player two for that. Uh, that is it. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. Any questions or comments, give me a shout. Probably better to do that on Instagram, solo.lap. But uh, yeah, onwards and upwards to the next video.